Hey, this is Paul, N7EKY, with the Vilas County Amateur Radio Club. I'd like to talk a little bit about how to get your non-APRS radio on APRS uh, at your home QTH. Uh, the way I'm going to describe doing that today is using a software uh, TNC from UZ7HO, that's Uniform Zulu 7 Hotel Oscar, and he calls it his sound modem. And we're also going to uh, use the APRS-IS client. It's called APRSISCE-32. Okay, first thing we do is we make sure that we have things set up and ready to go. We've got the ICOM IC7000, which is the radio that does not have APRS capability, but it does have VHF and HF, and it's on a VHF right now set for 144.390, which is, of course, the uh, APRS VHF frequency for North America. And over in the left there, you see that there is a signal link USB device. That's my sound card connection between my radio and my PC. And I know that's set up correctly and working because I've used it for other modes. For instance, uh, it works with uh, slow scan TV. Okay, let's go over here and look at the, uh, uh, the PC here. I'm at UZ7HO's uh, website. And he did a great job on the software, in my opinion. He's, he, uh, this stuff works very, very well. And um, he um, made it free. It's uh, free for you to download. Uh, you can find his website by just Googling uh, UZ7HO. And this is his personal page. You can go through this. You see that he's actually got a, um, an image of his software running with a waterfall down here in black and white. And he's running two channels. And I run one, but here's the files that you should download and put them into a folder on your PC. Don't put them below program files, just put them someplace else, um, you know, easy for you to find. Uh, unpack them, unzip them, and uh, read the documentation, and then go ahead and install the program. I already have it running, and so I'm not going to start from scratch, but I'm going to start it here. You'll see that. Um, it actually already is uh, configured because it's actually bringing data in and it will in a minute here anyway um, the waterfall is running and I gotta get this, there we go the waterfall is running, there's some data coming in I made the waterfall, uh, I actually uh, set it up to, to show in color and so let's go into the settings because it's, it's not too complicated but you have to do it right or it's not going to work we're going to go to the modems first, and we're going to select the VHF AX25 1200 baud modems. And um, everything else is pretty much default, or it's checked default. I do have non AX25 filters checked, and everything else is default. So that part of it's pretty easy. Uh, you must have those the correct modems or uh, selected, or it's not going to to work properly. Settings again and this time we're going to go to devices and this is where we pick our sound card devices. They've got to be the right ones. I I have like three or four different audio um, devices on, on this particular PC and so I just have to make sure I get the right ones and you need to do that input and output. If they're correct it's going to work. If not then you're not going to get your signal from your PC uh, for, to your PC from your radio. Um, I use the color waterfall. Uh, for this particular um, instance here, I'm using 11,025 for sampling rates for transmit and receive. I found that works for me very well. And I'm using uh, the uh, HEWPE uh, server port of 8,000, and that's enabled, but the uh, KISS server port is not enabled. Uh, if you're using a uh, signal link USB, you do not need a serial uh, port or anything to key the transmitter that's done through the the uh, signal link USB. Okay, so uh, we're going to click OK. The other thing I want to draw your attention to is up here at the top, and um, 
that has to be uh, you're gonna have to fidget with this a little bit I think out of the box it comes to 425 or something like that but I had to set mine up to 1700 before it would actually hear the signal above the noise and uh, uh, actually what's that's what he has set on his uh, website too so I probably should have looked at that before I started fidgeting around but uh, anyway this works just fine it's picking up uh, traffic so we'll get this down here now let's bring this thing over this is where we can pick up uh, APR, I, uh, APRS IS CE slash 32 uh, you can actually do a search on the web for APR SIS CE 32 download and it'll bring you to this uh, this web page which is a uh, wiki.com slash downloads and um, this is where you get it you can download the appropriate version depending on the platform you're on it will run on uh, different platforms and you do have to click on the passcode uh, flash here uh, give your your uh, call sign your email address and I can't remember what else but anyway they will email you a passcode which you're going to need and it's not a big deal you'll get it in a day or two or something so you'll be good so once you've downloaded that and you're going to install it uh, I've already got it installed here but let's go through this a little bit when you first bring it up it's going to have a map of the world it's going to have a big circle around the map of the world and what you need to do is you need to move around until you find um, find your location in the world and once you get to where your location should be you click on uh, the location and that will set the location in in stone so to speak and then um, there's some configuration we need to do here also so we click on configure general that's where you put your call sign and your SSID in there everything else is pretty much um, uh, the way it should be uh, confirm on close and restart on about that's, I also uh, click those configure and now we get to the ports this is critical you're going to have to set up a new port I'm not going to do it again now but I'll show you what how it's configured this one is going to be AGW because that's what we are transmitting from the modem the, the soft modem you choose AGW you name it anything you want you click on create and it'll come up and ask you whether it should be what type of port you're going to choose TCP IP and then we go back down here again let's choose one that I actually created here and it's pretty standard this must be 1200 that's that's the speed of the modem that we chose RF to IS and IS to RF should be checked I enabled um, these other features make sure they're enabled okay and then when you are finished with that click on device and this is absolutely critical critical here this is a loopback uh, IP address and this should be 127.0.0.1 and the port of course should be 8000 because that's what's being transmitted from the uh, software TNC you click OK click accept and if you look over here to, in the corner you see that I'm already picking up stations and um, um, if we're going to test this to see if it's working correctly there is a transmit button up here and I'm going to click on that and it works properly and I'm going to show you what happens when I when I click on it let's go back to the radio and the um, the watt meter and the um, signal link I'm going to click on the transmit button again there you go so we're transmitting, we're receiving on APRS, and it didn't really cost us anything other than the fact that we already had the equipment and that the, uh, uh, the sound cards set up correctly. It was just a matter of downloading and configuring two programs, the TNC and the GUI here. So that's, that's all we have for now, and I hope that you have success with this, and 
You, know, you don't have to spend a fortune to buy a new radio just to go on APRS. This is N7EKY with the Viles County Amateur Radio Club. Thanks for watching.